Hi guys, welcome to our first lesson. My name is Melissa and in today's lesson, we're going to be talking about strategies. Now, before we start solving problems, let's start by solving an example question together. So first, our friend tells us that when adding and subtracting, we always get the correct answer by working from left to right. Now, the key word or key phrase that we should remember is that when adding and subtracting, we get the correct answer by working from left to right. Now, the example that we're given is evaluate 13 minus 4 plus 19 minus 7. So, like our friend told us, we're going to work from left to right. And so, from left to right, we're going to start by solving 13 minus 4 first. So, 13 minus 4 is 9, right? And then, so, essentially, the equation that we got is 9 plus 19 minus 7. The expression that 13 minus 4 equals 9 gives us is 9 plus 19 minus 7. And then from there, we're going to work from left to right again until we reach our final answer. Now, from left to right, we're going to add 9 and 19 together. 9 plus 19 equals, we can do addition on this side. So we have 19 and 9. Since 9 plus 9 is 18, 19 plus 9 would be 28. So 9 plus 19 is 28, and that tells us that the remaining expression that we have is 28 minus 7. And so now, from left to right, we're simply going to do 28 minus 7, and that's going to give us 21. Therefore, we can conclude that 13 minus 4 plus 19 minus 7 equals 21. Now, let's get used to this example and this way of solving from left to right by solving some practice problems. If you guys want to solve these practice problems on your own, feel free to pause the video whenever you need to. So the first question that we have is evaluate each expression below, and our first question is 9 plus 8 minus 3. Now from left to right, we're going to add 9 and 8 first. 9 plus 8 would be 17, right? Now, this gives us 17 minus 3, since this was 17. Now, 17 minus 3 gives us 14. Therefore, 9 plus 8 minus 3 is going to be 14. Now let's take a look at question number two. We have 15 minus six plus four. Now again, we're gonna move from left to right. And the very first step we should take is subtracting six from 15. Now 15 minus six would be nine. Now this we found was nine. And so we're left with nine plus four. And 9 plus 4 is equal to 13. Therefore, 15 minus 6 plus 4 is equal to 13. Now let's solve question number 3. This time we have four different numbers. 11 minus 8 plus 4 minus 5. Again, we're going to start from the left side. We have 11 minus 8, which is 3. Now, we know that 11 minus 8 is 3, and we're left with 3 plus 4 minus 5. From the remaining numbers, we're going to, again, start from what's left, and we're going to start from the left side. So we're going to do 3 plus 4, and we know that 3 plus 4 is 7. Finally, we're left with 7 minus 5, which is 2. Therefore, we know that 11 minus 8 plus 4 minus 5 is 2. 
Now question number four also has four different numbers. We have eight minus one plus two plus six. Again, let's start from the left side. We have eight minus one equals seven. Now, since we know that eight minus one equals seven, we can rewrite this as seven plus two plus six. Again, starting from the very left side, we're going to do seven plus two. And we know that seven plus two is equal to nine. And since seven plus two is equal to nine, the last step is nine plus six. And we know that nine plus six is equal to 15. Therefore, we know that 8 minus 1 plus 2 plus 6 is equal to 15. Now we have question number 5. The numbers in question number 5 are much bigger, but still we are going to start from the left and move on to the right. So the ver at the very left we have 47 plus 23. So we're going to start off by doing 47 plus 23. And if we do the addition, we know that 47 plus 23 is equal to 70. Now, since this is 70, we're left with 70 minus 14. And 70 minus 14, if we do the subtraction, since we cannot subtract four from zero, we're going to borrow from the seven. And so instead of seven, we have six. So six minus one is five. And since we borrowed a 10 from the seven, we have a 10. So 10 minus four is six. Therefore, 70 minus 14 is 56. Now we know that 47 plus 23 minus 14 is equal to 56. Now let's take a look at question number six. For question number six, we have 100 minus 68 plus 32. Again, let's start from the left side. We're going to do 100 minus 68 first. Again, since we cannot subtract six from zero, we're going to borrow this one. And so now this one is going to be zero. We have a 10 here, but because we know that we cannot subtract eight from zero, we're going to lend one from the 10, or the remaining zero is going to borrow one from the 10. So the 10 is going to become a nine, and the zero is going to become a 10. Now nine minus six is three, and 10 minus eight is 2. So we know that 100 minus 68 equals 32. Now knowing that 100 minus 68 equals 32, we are left with 32 plus 32. And doing the addition, 2 plus 2 equals 4, and 3 plus 3 equals 6. So 32 plus 32 equals 64. Now, we know that 100 plus 68 plus 32 equals 64. Now we have a few more practice problems left. Again, if you want to solve these practice problems on your own, feel free to pause the video at any time and then resume the video to check your answers. For question number seven, we have 87 minus 37 plus 25 minus 11. Now, the numbers are more big, the numbers are bigger, and we have four numbers. But the same rule still applies. We start from the left and go to the right. So the numbers in the very left are 87 and 37. So we're gonna start off by subtracting 37 from 87. 87 minus 37 is 8 minus 3 is 5, and 7 minus 7 is 0. So 87 minus 37 is 50. Now we have 50 plus 25 minus 11. Again, from the very left, we have 50 plus 25. 0 plus 5 is 5, 
and 5 plus 2 is 7. So 50 plus 25 is equal to 75. Now we have 75 minus 11. And so once we do the subtraction, 5 minus 1 is 4, 7 minus 1 is 6. So we know that 75 minus 11 is 64. Therefore, 87 minus 37 plus 25 minus 11 is equal to 60, is equal to 64. Now let's look at question number eight. Again, we start from the left and then move on to the right to get our answer. So first, from the left, we're going to add 24 and 36 together. 24 plus 36. 6 plus 4 is a 10. And so we're going to write the 1 here to indicate that 4 plus 6 is a 10. And therefore, 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equal to 6. Therefore, 24 plus 36 is equal to 60. And now we have 60 plus 18 minus 31. From this rewritten expression, we know that from the left, we start by doing 60 plus 18. Now, 16 plus 18, when we do the addition, 0 plus 8 is 8, and 6 plus 1 is 7. So 60 plus 18 is equal to 78. Now, finally, we have 78 minus 31. 78 minus 31, if we do the subtraction, 8 minus 1 is 7, and 7 minus 3 is 4. Therefore, 78 minus 31 is equal to 47. As a result, we know that 24 plus 36 plus 18 minus 31 is equal to 47. Now in question number 9, we have 5 different numbers. But again, we still use the same rule of starting from the left and then going to the right. First, we have 18 and 12. So we'll start by adding 18 and 12 together. 18 plus 12. 8 plus 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, we're going to indicate that 8 plus 2 equals a 10. Well, 8 plus 2 equals 10. So we're going to write a 0, and then we're going to write a 1 here to indicate that 8 plus 2 equals 10. Now, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 30, is equal to 3, sorry, for, so 18 plus 12 is equal to 30. Now we have 30 minus 7 minus 8 plus 2. Again, we're going to do 30 minus 7 because it's in the very left. Since we cannot subtract zero for 7 from 0, we're going to borrow 1. We're going to borrow 10 from the 3. So, and this is because the 3 is in the 10th digit. So even though it's just a 3, we know that this is 30. Now we're going to borrow 10, so this has become 20. And that's why 3 becomes 2. And then since we borrowed 10, the 0 becomes a 10. Now 10 minus 7 is 3, and we bring the 2 down, so we have 23. Now 30 minus 7 is 23, so we're left with 23 minus 8 plus 2. Now 23 plus 23 minus 8, again, since we cannot subtract 8 from 3, we're going to borrow a 10, which makes this 13. Now, 13 minus 8 is equal to 5, and if we bring the 1 down, we have 15, which indicates that 23 minus 8 equals 15. Now, this portion is 15, so finally we have 15 plus 2, which is 17. Therefore, 18 plus 12 minus 7 minus 8 plus 2 is equal to 17. For question number 10, we have five different numbers and the numbers are all big, but still we're going to use the same rule of starting from the left. From the left side, we have 350 minus 40, and that would equal to 310. 
Now we have 310 minus 200 minus 40 plus 110. Now we're going to do these two numbers because now they are in the very left. So 310 minus 200 is equal to 110. Now this portion is equal to 110. And so now we have 110 minus 40 plus 110. And we're going to do these two first because now they're in the very left. So 110 minus 40. Since we cannot subtract 4 from 1, we're going to borrow. And this becomes 11. 11 minus 4 is 7, and 0 minus 0 is 0. So 110 minus 40 is equal to 70. Finally, we have 70 plus 110. And for 70 plus 110, we have 180. Therefore, we know that 350 minus 40 minus 200 minus 40 plus 110 equals 180. Now we have a new type of example. The example says add 59 plus 84 plus 41. Now one thing that we should notice is that there's only addition here. And our friend says we can add we can add numbers in any order. Changing the order can make addition easier. Now in the previous practice problems that we just did, we had addition and subtraction together. And we had to start from the left and then go to the right. But if we have addition only and no subtraction, we can rearrange the order and change the order to make the addition easier because we can add numbers in any order. Now let's take a look at this example. For 59 plus 84 plus 41, we can still follow the same rule of adding from of solving from left to right. We can do 59 plus 84 first and then add that to 41. However, because this is addition, since this is addition, we can change the numbers. And if we change the number, well not change the numbers, but we can rearrange the numbers. And by changing the order, we can make this addition much easier. Instead of adding 59 plus 84 first, we can rearrange the order so that it becomes 59 plus 41 plus 84. Now we switch these two numbers together. And the reason why we did 59 plus 41 first is because if you look at the ones digit, we have 1 and 9. And we know that 1 and 9 is equal to 10. Therefore, that's much easier than trying to add 9 and 4 together. If we rearrange the order to 59 plus 41 plus 84, we can easily add 59 and 41 together. Because 9 plus 1 is equal to 10, we put a 0 and indicate that it was a 10 by placing a 1. Now 1 plus 5 plus 4 is equal to 10. Therefore, 59 plus 41 is equal to 100. Now we have 100 plus 84. And this makes the calculation much easier because we know that 100 plus anything would be 100 that number, if that makes sense. 100 and that number. So if it's 100 plus 2, it would be 102. If it's 100 plus 20, it would be 120. And that is because for 100, we have 1 and then a 0 and a 0. Since it's 100 plus 84, we know that this is equal to 184. Now let's take a look at some examples. For practice problem number 11, we have 32 plus 49 plus 51. Now for this, instead of changing the order around, we can change the order that we add the two numbers. 
So instead of going from left and then to the right, we can start from the right. And if there are more numbers like 32 plus 49 plus 51 plus 60, we can even start in between. But for this example, we're going to start by adding 49 and 51. Again, we're doing this because of the ones digit where nine and one equal and where nine plus one equals ten. Now forty nine plus fifty one, as we did in the previous page just now, forty nine plus fifty one is equal to one hundred. Now we're going to do thirty two plus one hundred, which is equal to one hundred thirty two. Now for question number 12, we have 17 plus 44 plus 23. Now looking at the ones digit, we know, that's, we know that seven plus three is equal to 10. And therefore we wanna add 17 plus 23 first. And so we can rewrite and rearrange the order by writing 17 plus 23 plus 44. And that would and we're going to do 17 plus 23 first, and that would be 40. Now we have 40 plus 44. And that would equal to 84. Therefore, 17 plus 44 plus 23 equals 84. Now for question number 13, we have 25 plus 39 plus 25. Right away we see the five and five, which adds up to a 10. So we're going to do 25 plus 25 plus 39. Now 25 plus 25 is equal to 50. And so we have 50 plus 39, and 50 plus 39 is equal to 0 plus 9 is 9, and 5 plus 3 is 8, so 89. Therefore, 25 plus 39 plus 25 equals 89. Now, for question number 14, we have 13 plus 18 plus 17 plus 12. Now, we have four different numbers. Then, how do we start? Well, even if we have four numbers, we can quickly find that 8 plus two equals a 10, and seven plus three equals a 10. Therefore, we're going to do 13 plus 17. Rearrange them so that they're next to each other, and then plus 18 plus 12. Now, the trick here is that we don't always have to add these two, and then add 18, and then add 12. Since we have addition only, we can do this, this, and then add these two together. And that's because we have addition only so far, right now. So we do 13 plus 17, and that would be 30. Now we have 18 plus 12, and that is equal to 30 as well. We have 30 plus 30, so 0 plus 0 is 0, and 3 plus 3 is 6, so 30 plus 30 equals 60. As a result, 13 plus 18 plus 17 plus 12 equals 60. Now, of course, for this example, it is also possible to use the left to right strategy. We could do 13 plus 18 equals 31. 31 plus 17 equals 48. And then 48 plus 12 equals 60. However, the strategy here is that if we can make, if we can find the ones digits, the ones place that can add up to 10, that makes the ones digit of our sum a zero. And that makes it much easy to add. And since we have addition only, we can rearrange the order. And that is a strategy. 
and you apply different strategies to different situations. So make sure you know if there's addition only or if we have both subtraction and addition at once. Now for question number 15, we have 111 plus 89 plus 16 plus 24. Now we know that 1 plus 9 is equal to 10 and 6 plus 4 is equal to 10. So we can just leave the order as it is. 111 plus 89. 9 plus 1 is equal to 10. 1 plus 1 plus 8 is equal to 10. And so 111 plus 89 is equal to 200. Now we have 16 plus 24. 6 plus 4 is equal to 10. And so 1 plus 1 plus 2 is equal to 4. And so 16 plus 24 is equal to 40. And adding 240 together, we have 240. Therefore, 111 plus 89 plus 16 plus 24 equals 240. Now let's look at question number 16. We have 35 plus 35 plus 65 plus 65. Now, since the ones digit for all of the numbers are fives, we can do any two pairs or any two numbers and they would still add up to the 10 for the ones digits. Um, if you guys have learned multiplication already, then it might be easier if you guys do 35 times two and 65 times two. Now, if you guys know multiplication, that is one strategy. But if you guys don't know multiplication yet, then here's another strategy. If we look at 35 plus 65, 35 plus 65 is equal to 100. And 35 plus 65 here is also equal to 100. So we do 100 plus 100 equals 200. If we chose to do 35 plus 35 equals 70, and 65 plus 65 equals 130, 70 plus 130 is still equal to 200, but 100 plus 100 is much more easier, and that is why we call this a strategy. Now let's look at question number 17. We have 126 plus 32 plus 74 plus 118. Now we see 6 and 4 and 2 and 8, so let's rearrange the order. Now 126 plus 74. 6 plus 4 is 10. 1 plus 2 plus 7 is 10. So we know that 126 plus 74 is equal to 200. And for 32 plus 118, 2 plus 8 is 10, 1 plus 3 plus 1 is 5, so 32 plus 118 is 150. If we add these two together, we get 350. Therefore, 126 plus 32 plus 74 plus 118 equals 350. Now, for question number 18, we have 12 plus 245 plus 99 plus 118 plus 105. Now, not all of these numbers can add up to ones digits of zeros or tens, right? But we're going to look for the ones that are the possible, so possible out of the, num out of the numbers. First, we see 5 and 5, and then we see 8 and 2. So let's start from there. 12 plus 118 plus 245 plus 105 plus 99. 12 plus 118 would be 130. 245 plus 105 would be 350. 
And so we have 130 plus 350 plus 99. Now, 130 plus 350 is equal to 480. So 480 plus 99 is equal to 9 plus 8 is 17. So that is equal to 579. Therefore, 12 plus 245 plus 99 plus 118 plus 105 is equal to 579. Now we have question number 19, and there's a star next to question number 19. And this may be a little difficult. But for question number 19, we can make five pairs of numbers that sum to 100. For example, we can do 95 plus 5, and that is equal to 100. 85 plus 15 is equal to 100. Sorry. 25 plus 75 is equal to 100. 35 plus 65 is equal to 100. And 45 plus 55 is equal to 100. Now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 pairs of 100s. And so we're going to do 100 times 5. Or if you guys did not learn multiplication yet, 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 equal to 500. Now, even though we have 10 different numbers, if we can use the strategy of looking for easier numbers like 100, we can solve this question in a much easier way. So for future questions, try to use the strategies that we've learned in today's lesson. Now we have one more type of example. And our friend tells us, be careful when changing the order of subtraction. We cannot reorder the number we subtract from. 156 minus 100 is not equal to 100 minus 156. Now when we add, we can change the order. However, for when we subtract, we cannot change the order. Okay, so, sorry, we can change the order, but for subtraction, we cannot change the order. Now, let's look at this example. We have 156 minus 44 minus 56. Now, let's try doing the left to right method. One hundred fifty six minus forty four is equal to one hundred twelve. And then one hundred twelve minus fifty six is equal to fifty six. However, since it is easier to start by subtracting 56, we can do 156 minus 56 minus 44. And that gives us 100 minus 44. Now you guys might be asking, wait, I thought we, can, I thought we cannot reorder the number from subtraction. However, if you look at this closely, it says we can't reorder the number we subtract from. Now this means that we cannot change 156 
and move it to somewhere else. However, the number that follows can change. Since 156 is the number we subtract from, One hundred fifty six has to be the first, but from there we can change fifty six and forty four. Now this may be a little bit confusing, but let's get used to this strategy by solving some practice problems. Now we have eighty six minus nine minus fifty six. So for this we're going to do eighty six minus fifty six first. Now eighty six still stays in the beginning since that's what we subtract from. But since 6 minus 6 is 0, we're going to do 56. We're going to subtract 56 first. 86 minus 56 is equal to 30. So 30 minus 9 is equal to 21. For question number 21, we have 579 minus 25 minus 25. For this, uh, 579 stays in place, but we can do 25 minus 25 minus 25, and that would be equal to negative 50 or minus 50 from 579. And subtracting 50 from 579 is going to give us 529. Therefore, 579 minus 25 minus 25 is equal to 529. Now for question number 22, we have 276 minus 39 plus 26. The number we subtract from stays in place. But we want to do 26. We're going to subtract 26 first because 6 minus 6 is 0. So 276 minus 26 is equal to 250. Now, since this is 250, we're going to do 250 minus 39, and that would be 250 minus 39 equals 211. Now again, for question number 23, 353 stays in place, and we want to do, we want to subtract 63 first because of the 3 and 3 Subtract 3 from 3 is 0. So 357, 353 minus 63 is going to be 290. And 290 minus 37 is going to be 253. Now we have our final two questions. Circle every expression below that is equal to 88 minus 12 minus 28. Now this is asking us if we know how to use the strategies and if we know how to rearrange or not. Now 88, which is the number we subtract from, has to stay in place. And we see 88 is in the beginning for all of the options. Now, we can do 88 minus 28 because of the 8. But if we have a plus 12, our original was minus 12, so this would be incorrect. 88 plus 12, again, that changes. So the second option is also incorrect. Now, 88 minus 28 minus 12. We just switched these two. The sign, negative, negative, is the same. So this is correct. But we can circle other expressions that are correct too. Now, if we do negative 12, if we do minus 12 minus 28 first, that would be 88 minus 40. Now, for question number 25, we have 155 minus 99. Now, since we know that we start with 155, we need to see if the remaining two numbers add up to 99. Minus 100 plus 1 is equal to minus 99, or negative 99. And therefore, we know that the first option is correct. 155 minus 55 minus 44 is also correct because these two are equal to negative 99. 
but 155 minus 55 plus 44. These two, these two do not add to negative 99, so incorrect. And 156 minus 100. We added 1 to 155 and subtracted 1 from 99, and that is 0. So this is also correct. Now, I know we rushed in the end a little, but I hope you guys understood what we learned today. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me at melissakim555 at gmail.com. I hope you guys enjoyed today's lesson, and the next lecture is going to be about rearranging. I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Bye, guys!